Oh, Al. Second Moors Millions qualifier, leg 14. It's over three miles and seven furlongs. Ella Kaisida for Pedro Hogan, along with El Wood. Set for Craig Beckwith. David Robertson's Diner Wager. Captain Mannering for Martin Needham. Ironical Harold for Pontypool Racing. Penelope Pitstop also for Martin Needham. Dystonius Babylon for Daniel French. Pontypool Racing's Law Society. Stu, Stu Gray's Full Scream Ahead. And Glen Fly Fredlock for Alex Jerry. Makes up 11. Get to the first. There's a 25 they have to take. They all clear it. So this is only a 0 to 120, so not such a big field. So plenty of horses probably wouldn't want to get in. Nobody wants to take this up. That's Law Society and Ironical Harold for Pontypool Racing Stables. Just lead them into the second. And we'll clear it. Another mistake by Ella Casillida. Rear in the yellow silks back cap. Patrick Hogan, Dystonius Babylon and Setter are just towards the rear as well as they go over the third. This time his stable mate Ella Woods made the mistake. Patrick Hogan. We'll come to the next here at Hereford. It's ironical how to the ditch. He's over it well. Good jumping Penelope pit stop a little bit wide. guard about handicap marks. Well, that's a bit pop kettle black. Anyway, it's ironical how that leads from Law Society and Penelope Pitstop full scream ahead. Captain Mannering and Glen Fry Fredlock as they go over the fifth. And we've got Ella Woods. Dinah Wager and Ella Casida. Dystonius Babylon. And just the settler. Settling in rear at the moment. Can see them all. trouble as they go over the six. They will clear that as well. Although Settler's just going out of shot now as Ironical Harold just lifts the pace as they go downhill here. So they're through the first mile. And it's Ironical Harold by three to the Law Society and full scream ahead. Captain Mannering on his outside. Between those is Ella Woods and Penelope Pitstop. And Glen Fry Fredlock as they go over the seventh. They will clear it. Some slower jumps. Who dares win this country? It's ironical Harold by three. So Captain Mannering and full scream ahead. Ella Woods, Penelope Pitstop up against the Rowell is Law Society. A little bit wider is Ella Casida pushing through there, sorry. And I'll see. I go over the eighth. And we'll clear that as well. Still the settler at the back. Just nosing into the camera shot occasionally. So with two and a half miles still to travel, it's ironical Harold full scream ahead. Ella Woods and Captain Mannering. Penelope pit stops follows them through. Then Law Society up against the Row. Ella Casillida. Wider of that is Glen Fry Fredlock as they get to the ditch in the ninth. All doing well here. Standing on. Better jump there by Settler as Dystonia's Babylon sort of joins him in that back marker position. They get to the plain one, the tenth. Nobody clears that. Jumping quite good here. We're looking to qualify for the Moors Millions. This will be the longer one. Which I think is over four miles plus. Come the final week of the season. But Ironical Harold's the one that leads us into this plate one. Takes it well. Oh, we've lost one full scream ahead. Made no effort to get over that. Another disaster from the Stu Gray stables. Dystonia's Babylon for Daniel French. Ironical Harold leads him into the ditch, takes it well. They all clear it. So still this Ironical Harold. Oh, you've all noticed in the forums, guys, we're talking about trying to get a, another season up and running fairly quickly. Although we're going to look like we're going to need a flat handicapper. Gray's not going to do the next season, which is fair enough. He does it plenty. I'll be glad he's not doing it. But anyway, it's ironical Harold. I'd be happy to do it, but then you would lose me on comms and race running because it's not something I really don't have the time to do it all. Because they go over the 14th. I made a mistake there was Settler at the rear. 
Clatter to the top of that one. But he's still on his feet. Jason Hart is standing as Babylon at the back, but this ironical Harold's led them throughout as they come to the 15th. Uh, um, fences to take. But it's ironical Harold, Captain Mannering, Penelope Pit Stops, Ella Woods and Dinah Wager together, and then a furlong back to Law Society. Glenn Fry, Fred Lock, and a further length to Ella Casida. Settler has moved out of that tail end position now. And demoted Dystonius Babylon. So this will be the last next time round. And we'll get over that. A couple of slow jumps. I think the worst of that was Penelope Pit Stop. Close to his stable mate, so ironical Harold as they go past the winning post with a full circuit to go, just with a length and a half advantage now from Ella Woods that's moved into second. Captain Mannering still there, Law Society pushing through, stable mate to her leader. And Penelope pit stop and Dinah Wager out wide, Glen Fry Fredlock up against the row. Um, proving all the time is the settler looking for a bit of racing room, took that one well. And now moving himself slowly up and up and up. Rear now is Dystonia's Babylon, but it's ironical Harold from Stablemate Law Society. Ella Woods, Settler, moving well. Captain Mannery, Penelope Pit Stop, and Dinah Wager. As they come to the next, the ditch, the 18th, the leaders get over it well. These Stablemates, ironical Harold and Law Society. It's Law Society that just noses in front now with a mile to travel. Come to this plane when I teeth. Oh, he took it. Oh, he took a dive in it. And then our ironical Harold, I think, got a bit confused. And he fell as well. <laughs> Pontypool Racing Stables were doing well, but they're down one now. And Royal Society just holding off the rest. We're all shuffling up behind him here. The only two at the back are Dystonius Babylon and Penelope Pitstop that will probably need a bit of racing room if they make a challenge. They go over the 20th. Captain Mannering was slow over that, but it's Law Society. From out wide, Ella Casida, Ella Wood, Settler sitting pretty there. Glen Fry, Fred has got no racing room. Dinah Wager was slow over that. Much better jump this time by Captain Mannering. No movement from Dystonius Babylon and there's Penelope Pitstop trying to run on right from the back, but we've got five furlongs to go as they get to this ditch. They all clear that and it's Ella Kaye Cedar, Ella Woods, Law Society, The Settler, these four, Dinah Wager a length behind, Penelope Pitstop still running on well out wide, still no room to run is Dystonius Babylon and Glen Fry Fredlock as Ella Woods just noses in front as they take the turn into the home straight. With half a mile left to travel, it's Ella Woods from Law Society, Ella Kaisida, Settler starts for us more, Penelope Pit Stop still trying to pick up well, and back here comes Dystonius Babylon as they go over the 23rd. The one that got away from it best is Ella Woods, she's got a length and a half advantage inside the three. Ella Woods from Law Society, the Settler, Penelope Pit Stop. They're going to have to try and catch this leader, we've still got a quarter of a mile to run and a couple to take as they come down to the penultimate, he takes it well, they're all clear, the one that made the mistake was Captain Mannering, has not got a win now from there, with a furlong and a half left to go, it's Padrick Hogan's Ella Woods from Law Society in second, Glen Fry, Fred Lott in third, Estonia's Babylon, Dinah Wager, the settlers going backwards, a furlong left to run, one to take, and it's Ella Woods, looks round, really needs to just step over this one, there's not much of a run in, he takes it well, but Law Society was over it quick, Estonia's Babylon, but Ella Woods is going to hold him off here from Law Society, in second, but standing as Babylon's going to be third. Dinah Wager wins fourth. Captain Mannering is fifth. I think Ella Kaisida finished in sixth. The first four there, all. we lost Glenn Fry, Fred Lott as well. I think probably at the last, which is unfortunate. Alex Cherry, so that's a comfortable win in the end there by Ella Woods. Well, El Woods, Law Society was second for Grey Clutterbuck. Dystonius Babylon did well to get up for th third for Daniel French. Dinah Wedger for David Robinson was fourth. And Captain Mannering for Martin Leadham was fifth. And the last, oh, the first four qualify.